With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, a uniform rigid body with circular cross section is released on a rough inclined plane as shown. Rolls without slipping, then choose the correct option. So if you see the options, options is all about the speed at the bottom, right? If it is hollow sphere, then speed at the bottom, speed at the bottom. So let's uh, see what will be the speed of the bottom and what, what are the de deciding factor. So if you see here, this is pure rolling. This is a case of pure rolling. So the point of contact at any instant will have zero velocity. So if I say that the velocity of this uh, center is V and uh, the angular velocity is omega, right? So because of translation, it will be having velocity v. Because of rotation, it will be having velocity into r as the velocity in opposite direction. So if you see here, this point of contact should be having zero velocity. So I will write down v minus omega r is zero. From here, I will write down omega is equals to v by r. Now we will write down the work energy theorem from the top to bottom. So the only one force is doing work, that is the gravity. And if I talk about the work done by the friction force, see this point P. This point P is not moving. So if th this point is stationary at any instant of time, then the work done by the friction force will be zero because the point of application of force is not moving. So work done by gravity is equal to change in kinetic energy. So how much gravity will do work? If you see, let's say the mass is M and it came down by a height h. So I will write down work done by gravity is, is equals to change in kinetic energy. So I will write down half mv square plus half i omega square. So just put the value here. So I will write down half mv square omega is v by r. This. So this will be i. So if you see, we got this equation. Now we can divide the whole equation by 2m. If you, if you see, we can uh, multiply this equation by 2 by m. So I will write down 2gh is equals to v square. I will take common plus it will be i by mr square. Now see the final expression of the velocity is equals to under root of it is 2 gh in division it is 2 gh 1 plus i by mr square. All right. Now you see the options solid cylinder solid sphere. Solid cylinder, solid sphere, disc, hollow sphere. So if I talk about the moment of inertia of this uh, disc and uh, solid cylinder, they both have the same moment of inertia. That is mr square by 2. So let us see what is the i by mr square for disc and solid cylinder. It is half mr square. So I will write down i by mr square is half. So put this half here. So it will be, if you see, 1 plus half, it is 3 by 2. So it will be, for solid cylinder and disc, it is 2 by 3 by 2, it will be 4 by 3. Now similarly, you can put, for, uh, put the value for solid cylinder, a solid sphere and hollow sphere. For solid sphere, I is 2 by 5 mr square. So, I by mr square will be 2 by 5. Put the value. So, I will write down the velocity for this case. It is 2 by 5 plus 1. It will be 7 by 5. 2 by 5 plus 5 by 5, it is 7 by 5. So, 2 divided by 7 by 5. So, it is 10 by 7 gh. Similar, similarly, you can write down for uh, 
holosphere for holosphere it is 3 by uh, 2 by 3 and just put the value so i will write down it is 2 gh in division 2 by 3 plus 1 2 by 3 plus 1 it is 5 by 3 2 by 3 plus 3 by 3 it is 5 by 3 so 2 divided by 5 2 divided by 5 by 3 it will, it will be 2 into 3 by 5 that is 6 by 5 now you can check for the option so these two are the correct one under root 4 By three gh is for solid cylinder and disc. So A and C are the correct. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.